Good morning. Uh, I would like to share with you my rainwater collection system. Uh, we've had a drought here in Southern California, Zone 10B, for the last, well, for six or seven years. And in the last couple of years, we've had a little bit more rainfall in the winter. But um, that prompted the our city to uh, give us a rainwater, um, like free rainwater that they have for their uses. And we had to bring a bin in, a rain barrel, and they would allow us to fill it up. And so we would do that a few times. We collected probably uh, 180 to 240 gallons of water that, that summer, that last summer of the drought. The last couple of years, we've gotten a little bit more rainfall. And so um, I wanted to share with you what we do. Uh, so we buy something like this from Lowe's, and it's a rainwater extender. So it, it stretches and everything, and... It allows us to collect water into this trough. It's a giant trough. It, is, it holds 100 gallons. And we got this from Tractor Supply. It even has a little downspout like, um, that you can attach a hose to to, to empty it to, you know, water your plants by hose. Um, but we started, we started, um, doing this. Uh, guys, I have water in here, by the way, so I'm covering it so to prevent mosquitoes from going in. And I just clip it with a, with a um, clothesline clipper. And those are just bags that I reused from soil because we didn't have um, good native soil. We, so we're in the process of composting and making good soil. But in the meantime, we have this plastic bag to cover our trough. And so it just all started when we were trying to collect as much water as we can when we started to garden. And an uh, easy way to get free water is to catch it. Of course, um, there was money put in to buy these troughs, but when you're starting small scale and you want to do it affordably, we started with milk jugs. I mean, gallon by gallon, we just collected the gallon of uh, the jugs as the kids were finishing up their milk and rinse it out and put it aside out, outside. And when our um, so we also had buckets from um, friends, five gallon buckets that we we got from friends, or you can get it for free from a bakery, um, from like Sam's Club, or from some place like the grocery store. They'll give it to you for free. They usually just toss it out, and you can get a ton of those, or from restaurants you know, that, like, use soy sauce or some kind of, some kind of sauce, and, um, basically, um, we would also use this, this here, it is the, it is the, um, blue bin, but we use a blue bin and the green bin from our city, um, uh, municipal, basically, waste. And we would uh, get the water into that, and because the city provides that barrel, we would um, find one that didn't have a hole and allow the water to go. But when it overflowed, we needed, we wanted to collect more water and not just have that, say, 60 or 80 gallons that it holds. So what I did was I would use the milk jugs and collect the, the water as much as I could. 
and later on, only then did I acquire the buckets, and I would collect water into that. And in all, we collected thousands, um, over, over 2,500 gallons of water this winter. As soon as it would rain, I would have my setup out ready to collect water. We have, um, also we purchased, let me show you. So here was our, one of our first purchases, um, aside from using free jugs and, um, and the buckets that we acquired. We bought some and then eventually we found someone who would give us the buckets. So, um, we paid, we paid our friend a, a small amount for the buckets. Um, and so we would, we had this rain barrel, um, set up. So the, down, the rain downspout from the gutters rains the water there. And see that spigot down there, that little um, water spigot? Um, there's one on the side of the rain barrel. And we set it up to, because we wanted more water than this can hold. This holds about 60 gallons. So we wanted more. I mean, 60 gallons you can use up as quick, like fairly quickly. Um, so there's a spout on the side that we um, recently bought these troughs, the 100 gallon troughs. We bought three of them. We have um, one in the front, one on the side of the house, and one in the back here. And so the spout overflow of water would go into this trough. And from the trough we would collect as much rainwater as we could um, when it gets close to filling up. And, and we fill that, the water jugs and then the um, buckets that are sitting in here. And um, we had tried to get rid of the jugs. We threw away over 200 milk jugs just because um, they're smaller scale, much smaller scale, and the buckets are more convenient to collect four to five gallons of water at a time than a, a gallon at a time. But over time we're collecting more jugs because we do want more water. So our, our requirement for water is insatiable here in Southern California. Just simply because we might have been traumatized a little bit by the drought, the six, six seven year drought. So, so as this, um, after the rain barrel fills with water, then um, some of it goes over to this trough and then when this fills, then we'll just take the buckets, fill them with water, and haul them over to the mulch area here for later use. We would cover it up with the lid and we'll use them up over time. So now that the, I've poured much of the rainwater out into the, the um, garden, um, these empty retired buckets are sitting here covered and protected from the sun from rot. Um, in the in the troughs, so you know we condensed it down and made it um, made it uh, ready for use for the next year, and, and it won't take up so much space. It is a little bit unsightly, but you know rainwater is um, very useful, and um, I think when you get into it, you really want to, you get obsessed with it and you want to collect more and more water. At least that's a rabbit hole we're going into. Um, so after investing in the troughs, we still, I mean, so the city's uh, greenspan and blues, blue bins, some of them have holes. So we couldn't really use all of them to collect water. We only use the ones that didn't have holes and could keep the water for a period of time. And so, um, in fact, we could only use two of them. And that holds about 60 or 80 gallons of water. Then our little rain barrels only hold 60 gallons, of which we have only two. So, like about two sixty gallons right there and that's not going to be enough for watering this whole entire yard.
then we decided to get the the bucket and the trough system and that just gave us only a few hundred more gallons and we wanted something that can water the our plants for up to three four months like the summer and and um so we went ahead and bought the cisterns that you can see back there and my husband piped set the pipes and the hose and everything for it to drain um, water um, so we just rolled that down the driveway and rolled it to that location that's where it's going to stay and that each one of those cisterns holds 1500 gallons of water so that's 3000 gallons of water that significantly upped our game um, so that's where we're at we still have a smaller a much smaller jug collection system and with um with the rain barrels the buckets and the troughs and the cistern i think we're gonna do just fine and just a quick look there are a ton of sunflowers that i'm going here and um Hopefully you found that interesting and, you know, you could start small with the milk jugs. But anyway, hope you give it a try. Let me know if you have a better method.